So you're thinking about moving to Novi, Michigan. Well, Novi is a great place, but like any city, it's got its pros and it's got its cons. So in this video, I'm covering both. So stick around because we're getting after it right now. Hey, what's going on you guys? Eric Meldrum here, your Michigan real estate agent. Now, I've lived in Michigan my whole entire life. I grew up in Metro Detroit and I know a thing or two about it. So in this video, I'm covering everything you need to know about Novi, Michigan. But before we get into that, if you're new to this channel, welcome. If you're returning to my channel, welcome back. Thanks for hanging out with us. Now I make videos just like this about what it's like to live here in Metro Detroit and all the surrounding areas. I got vlog tours, I got property tours, and videos like this where I answer some common questions you might have before moving to Michigan. So if you do have questions, drop it in the comments below or better yet, reach out, we'd love to help. Whether you're moving in one month or one year from now, it doesn't matter, you gotta get a hold of us. Give us a call, just a text, send us an email. I've even got my contact information down below. I wanna be the best resource for you in making your move here to Michigan. So if this information is helpful, consider subscribing and tapping that little bell so you're the first to learn all about the current market right here in Michigan and all the new videos we put out. All right, so Novi, Michigan. Are we talking about a good place to live, a boring place to live? What do we do in Novi? Is it fun? Is it expensive? Like who lives there? You guys got all these questions. I've got answers. I've got some things that go through in this video, but make sure you stick around to the end because I'm going to share with you some of the best things to do in Novi. And you might be asking yourself, what's the worst thing about living in Novi? Well, that's coming up right now. All right. So first up on the list is location. Now this is definitely a pro in my opinion. The location couldn't be better for Novi. You got all major highway systems pretty close. You got 696 and 96, which are running east and west. So you can get over to the east side of Detroit. You can get over to the west side, you know, near Milford, Brighton, and that area uh, pretty quickly if you need to. But if you're going to be traveling into Detroit for work, um, you're going to be about 30 minutes from Detroit. If you're going to be taking uh, frequent flights for work or you need to be close to the airport for some reason um, it's about 35 minutes so super close and then you can also get over to ann arbor in about 30 minutes as well so pretty centrally located right in the smack dab middle of metro detroit so next up on the list is the shopping here in novi now it's definitely a pro so guys i'm going to give you one chance right now to shut this thing down if you're watching this with your lady here's your out just change the channel scroll on you know do your thing but if you're still with me here Guys, the shopping in Novi is absolutely amazing. So there's 12 Oaks Mall, which has pretty much everything you need. Nordstrom's, Macy's, um, other big box stores that I can't think of right now, but there's 180 of them in the mall. I mean, it's a destination. You got a food court, you can go there, do some shopping, do your Christmas shopping or whatever, spend some time there. There's tons of teenagers that go just hang out at the mall. That was the thing that we did when we were growing up. Like that was the thing to do. We went to the mall, we ate at the food court, got Sabaro's pizza. You could get those slices of pizza for like $1.25. I think they're like $2 or $2.50 nowadays. Super expensive. Everything's expensive nowadays. But there's also some other great department stores and big box stores here in Novi. If you can't find something um, here in Novi, I'd be shocked. Got DSW, the container store, um, Old Navy. And this is all from 12 Oaks to the Fountain Walk shopping here. Absolutely amazing. You guys are going to love it. All right. So is there anything bad about Novi? Well, absolutely we got some cons too and the cost of living here in novi is absolutely one of those big con in my opinion um it's expensive and just like we just talked about shopping um, you can spend a lot of money really quickly going out to eat um, entertaining going to movies going to the malls and just doing all these things that novi has to offer so in addition to the cost of living you know for entertainment and everything you also have really expensive transportation i'm talking about gas and car insurance in novi so from a national average perspective we are 20 percent higher than the national average for entertainment, um, you know, going out to eat, you know, going to the movies, uh, those type of things where we kind of categorize those as miscellaneous, we are about 25% higher than the national average. Property taxes are also pretty expensive here in Novi. So on average, people are paying around 1.6% of their home value to property taxes. Now, here's an example. If your home is worth $500,000 and we take that and equate that into property taxes, you're gonna be paying right around $8,000 per year. All right, so next up on the list is the outdoor activities. Now, this is definitely a pro in my opinion. 
Although I wouldn't consider Novi a really green space or a lot of nature preserves here in Novi, but when they're developing the city, they did a really great job, in my opinion, of mixing in parks and saving space in these planned communities and subdivisions to make sure there's parks nearby, there's parks within the subdivisions, or they at least have access to biking trails, hiking trails, and a space that you can go just chill, have a picnic. You know, there's parks that have playscapes for little kids. There's parks that have soccer fields, baseball fields uh, for the older kids. And there's a lot of sports complexes in the Novi area as well. So in addition to all that, if you're looking to play golf, Novi has some great golf courses in the surrounding areas. I mean, I can't even count on my hands how many golf courses are around. Some of the ones that I would recommend checking out in Novi are the links of Novi. You get north, south, east, west. They have like four courses there. You got Maple Golf Course, and then you got tons more in the surrounding area. And if you're looking for a private one, Tanglewood Country Club is also a great option. All right, so I know what you're thinking right now. You're saying, Eric, just get to the real estate. I want to know what houses cost here in Novi so I can get this show on the road. Well, sorry to burst your bubble, but the real estate here in Novi is definitely a con on my list. So let's take the average home in the U.S. at 292000 Here in Novi, the average home is going to cost you right around $325,000. Now, in my opinion, this is actually kind of low for Novi. If you're looking to be in a subdivision, if you're looking to be in somewhere with um, a really good community and some of the larger homes, which Novi has a ton of, there's a lot of colonial contemporary homes in subdivisions with HOAs, um, really regulated, you know, in terms of keeping the subdivision looking really nice uh, for your sake and the community's sake, but you're probably gonna be looking more in the $500,000 range, I think is, is the more median price for those larger homes, those more kind of estately style homes um, that are three to four bedrooms, you know, 2,700 square feet plus, and that's gonna be the more common thing that you're gonna find in a lot of the subdivisions here in Novi. So if you're looking for an expensive home, Novi's got it. It's got anything from 325 all the way up to the most expensive house on the market today is 1.9 million. This is a new construction, and there's tons of these type of homes that are being built here in Novi. The least expensive home here in Novi is gonna run you right around $150,000 as of today. That's a small condo in the city. And that's the great thing about Novi. There's a wide range of things from condos to single family homes. Um, they got a ton of apartments as well. So if you're looking to rent, the average rent here is gonna run you around $1,400 per month. All right, so next up on the list, we're putting those tax dollars to work. And I'm talking about the school system here in Novi. Now this is definitely a pro. People move from all over the place to send their kids to Novi schools. And when selecting the city to live in in Metro Detroit, Novi ranks as one or two on the list for high school, middle school, and all the elementary schools. So there's one major high school, one middle school, and five elementary schools to choose from. In addition to some great public schools, there are tons of private school options as well. You got Catholic schools, charter schools. Um, there's a Catholic school here for all boys. If you're looking for that type of thing, it's called Catholic Central. So make sure you do your homework on the school systems here in Novi. And if you do have questions, drop it in the comments below. If I don't know the answer to it, chances are somebody that's watching this video, like you guys, might know the answer and and give you guys a response. All right, so you ready for another con about Novi? In my opinion, this is the worst thing about living in Novi, and that's the size of the city. It's absolutely massive. I'm talking 31 square miles to be exact. And if you've watched any of my other videos where I talk about Detroit, it's 134 square miles. You can fit New York, San Francisco, and Dallas into Detroit, and you're still not gonna fill out 134 square miles. So Novi compared to Detroit is about a quarter of the size. Now, with that large size comes a lot of traffic because people are trying to get to the same places. 12 Oaks Mall, the Fountain Walk, all the major shopping centers around there. Traffic can get really congested. The other thing is, is you don't have a central downtown area like some of the surrounding areas. There's no quaintness. There's no, you know, small town feel. You are in Metro Detroit. I call it suburbia. So that's really the only big con I have. And I think it's the worst thing about Novi, in my opinion. All right, so next up on our list are things to do here in Novi. Now, in the beginning of this video, I told you the things to do in Novi were pretty cool, and I'm gonna share some of those with you right now. Well, in addition to 12 Oaks, in addition to the Fountain Walk, in addition to all the cool things that you can do with shopping and dining here, some of the best restaurants, I'm gonna give you two recommendations that I think you guys should check out is Shiro's Restaurant. Now, this is a sushi place, and it takes place in like this mansion. 
So you walk in and it looks like a house. I mean, you, you literally walk in and it's like a house. There's a little dining area over here, dining over there, over there, upstairs, it's all you know spread out. And the house kind of looks like a, a house that might be haunted. It might have some ghosts in it, but I assure you the sushi is absolutely amazing. So definitely go check that out. And if you're looking for more of a laid back steakhouse, I would consider going to Sedona Tap House. That's actually located in 12 Oaks Mall. Sedona's Tap House, some of the best steak, just a chill laid back atmosphere. You can go hang out, have lunch with colleagues, have you know lunch or dinner with friends, family, and just enjoy Sedona's. Now, if you're looking for something a little bit more adventurous, there's an indoor skydiving right off of the freeway. It's called iFly. Um, I haven't been there yet, but I've been wanting to go there. So maybe if you come into town, you guys can convince me to go with you. I'll take you. We can go skydiving together. But iFly is right there off of Novi Road and 96. And then you also have some things to do for the kids. In addition to all the parks and everything surrounding, if you're looking for more of an adventure, you can take the kids to Paradise Park. They got putt-putt, they got rock wall climbing. They have just a ton of things to do for kids. And then if you're just looking for a night out at the movies, Imagine Movie Theater or the AMC here in Novi will do just fine. All right, and last but not least on our list is the quality of life here in Novi. Now, definitely a pro in my opinion. In addition to all the pros and cons that we just talked about, Novi has a very low crime rate. It's got a great sense of community. In addition to the great school system, people take pride in their houses. People take pride in the place they live. It's a very well-kept community, well-kept city. And I think for those reasons, you're gonna really enjoy checking out Novi and considering it as one of your options when you move here to Michigan. All right, so there you have it. There's Novi in a nutshell, some good and some bad. If you guys have questions, feel free to reach out or better yet, drop it in the comments below. I answer all those myself and I'd be happy to do so. And remember, if you guys are moving here in one month or one year from now, it doesn't matter, you gotta get a hold of us. We want to be the best resource for you in making that move here to Metro Detroit, Michigan, and we got your back when doing so. So consider subscribing and tapping that little bell so you're the first to learn about the current market here in Metro Detroit and every time we drop a new video every single week. So until next time, go check out these other videos I did on Metro Detroit and all the surrounding areas, and we will catch you on the next one. Peace!